Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Slow Fashion. Today's a big day. Today, people should be excited. See the bottom of that football. Don't read the top, cause just kidding. Anyways, <coughs> NFL football is back starting today. Then starting next week, preseason game gets underway. But tonight is the Hall of Fame. I feel like I don't want to do the Hall of Fame game today. They usually do it. They usually do it. They, to me, they usually do the Hall of Fame induction ceremony on Saturday, and then they do the Hall of Fame game on Sunday. But today they're doing the Hall of Fame game on Thursday, which is kind of odd to do a Hall of Fame game. They usually do. I remember they used to do it. The presentation of the ceremony on on Saturday and Sunday. No, 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 bag. Damn it, dog. And then, um, I'm gonna get a bag, but then, um, Sunday used to be the game. It's always the Cowboys. I think it's always been the Cowboys usually doing, uh, all these, um, Hall of Fame games. You know, I think, I don't know, it was one year, I think it was like Vikings and Pittsburgh, my team played. I think it was. Which usually always been the Cowboys. I, 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 I see. So tonight we got the, Car- the Arizona Cardinals versus the Cowboys tonight. It's not gonna be. It's not going to be a high school game. This is going to be probably the lowest scoring, I think, pre um, Hall of Fame game slash pre basically preseason games. I think usually when it's just regular preseason game, not Hall of Fame game, they, they they try, they try to get their spot, which I love watching NFL preseason. I, in all preseason games, I love scoring. It's never been like the highest scoring preseason game unless you're watching like arena football preseason. Uh, I'm just starting out there, but uh. I, 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 I've been a big fan of football, as you can see by my hat. I love NFL, and I love I love this one. Canadian, I'm a big Canadian football fan. I've been a Canadian football fan since, like, 2011. So, I've been a long-time fan of that. And I've been a arena football fan since, like, 08, 09, when, when arena football was big. Then my team in L.A. folded last year due to you, because other teams are folding, you know, and they're, like, maybe, like, they're, like, they were like 19 when, the, when, when my team was in there. The other teams are folding, so like we'll fold too. So, so right now I don't really watch. I mean, I, mean, I still watch arena football sometimes when it's on CBS Sports Network or whatever. I'm just a casual, casual watcher. There's only like four teams in it, four or five teams. I can't believe who would do a league with only four teams. It's like you play the same theme over and over. You know, four or five teams. So it should be so boring, don't y'all think? That's why. You need a team like 10 teams at least. I still watch Canadian. I've been, I've been watching Canadian football for a while. I haven't watched it lately since because I've been doing stuff. And every time I go, it's like you want to you want to watch it. You have an ESPN 2 or ESPN News or ESPN 3. And so that's when I, one time I usually go to the gym and I come back because I got the over. I get highlight updates. So I do my other way to jersey. I don't have a Minnesota Vikings jersey. I still only have the hat, scarf, and other stuff. But tonight is the f- football's back, you know. I hope, hope you guys watch. I hope it's going to be a big, usually it's a big turnout because it's in Canton, Ohio. So it's usually a big turnout. People love the Hall of Fame stuff and the NFL Hall of Fame. Like if you go to Toronto, you have the Hockey Hall of Fame. I don't know if that'd be a Hall of Fame or that, but let me know in the comments down below. You know the Hockey, the NBA Hall of Fame is that? Or the Soccer Hall of Fame or the MLS Hall of Fame? I don't know if they have one. But let me know. So, uh, so. But yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'm, ex- I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably get watch it right before I go to the gym. So at five, so I'll probably, you know, give it a quick view. But not, I don't really care for this one. A lot of people might care because it's their team. You might not even see maybe. Dak play. You might see him throw maybe one or two throws, and that's it. And the rest is going to be whoever, whoever it is in the backup. You know, who's going to be the back quarterback? You're not going to see Carson Palmer. If anything, you might like I said, one two throws. If that, if not even throw at all. So, I know because Dak's a rookie, you might throw a couple. You know, he's only been on the league, like, what, two or so years now? A year or so, so he might get to the other time, but Carson Palmer's been in the league so long. 
he might not even throw a ball. Even one, or maybe just take three snaps. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So anyway, the NFL's back. People are still doing training camps. I don't think people are going to stop doing training camps because of the, uh, because of what's going on. Like, people are going to just stop doing training camps because of this game now. People are going to probably still do training camps. Especially out here in California. There's going to be rain in some parts of the county here in California. You know, like uh, Irvine and, no, not Irvine, Riverside, San Bernardino. But I think Irvine might too. That's where the Rams camp is. They might get some, some rain because it's like almost 80, maybe 70, 60, 90 percent humidity right now here in California. I live in San Diego and it's unbelievable the humidity that we're going on here. It's so gross. My skin, my body, I just can't take it. But sorry I'm doing this late because I had, uh, I started, I woke up, whatever, and I uh, took a shower and stuff to wake me up. Cause I, cause I went to the gym and sometimes I just forget, you know, I just like wash my face off and then go sleep because I'm going to the gym a little late and I'm like, I don't feel like I'm on the chair. Sometimes I do something like, oh, I took a moment, eat a bite or a snack or something like a yogurt. And I just forget something that is, I'm not like super duper sweaty sometimes. But I just watched my face. I took one this morning to put Gray and wake up and other stuff. But it's, yeah. And I was also reading a book this morning. One of, one of the books from, from one of our pastors at the church I watch. His book's coming out. So it's, it's like a launch. He needs to get like a preview of his book. So I've been reading it. And it's phenomenal. But anyway, I'll talk about that. But football is back. Let me know in the comments section. If you guys watch, if you guys didn't watch it, who do you want? Cardinals or Cowboys? I honestly I don't care. If I had to choose, I'll probably go Arizona. Arizona has a good team. Arizona's gonna be a good team. So if I had to choose, maybe Arizona. I don't think Ezekiel is gonna play either because what, what that incident he had was in Dallas or something like that, or somewhere and it was like a bar or something. So he might not have to play. Who knows? They've been, they've, been playing down, they've been playing down there in California. I, I don't know why they do that. Because you know, when they were here, they were Texans practice in Houston, in Houston. And they have a big old training facility and everything. I don't get why the why the uh, Cowboys don't train in Dallas. Maybe because of the heat. And they've always been in Oxnard, California. Because I used to live in Oxnard. I never, I never went to their camps. But one of my family members, they, they love their cow. My mom said they love the Cowboys. So they've been to the Oxnard thing until they moved to Kansas City. But, but but they've been to the Cowboys camp in Oxnard, but you know, I don't know why they come up to California. Maybe because of the weather. I don't really don't know why they come up to Cali, but they do, and the fans come out, so it's cool. But I don't know why they come up to Cali. If they have, and I've seen that there's like a new whole facility they got there for training. <laughs> and it's on it. I bet you all the Dallas fans are mad because if you're a Dallas fan and you don't want to see him, you have to go fly out to Oxnard and go watch him train. It's a joke. Would you mind to just fly to LAX, LAX City, all the way down to Oxnard? Oxnard from LAX is quite far. Maybe an hour drive or so, so it's quite far. But, um, you know, football's back. Let me know in the comment section down below. So I'll probably just go with the Cardinals on this one. I'm I'll just tune in for a couple of seconds, but I'm not going to watch it because they're really not that fun, honestly. It's cool because I, I want to see, I'll probably, if they, can, they, they usually show it on NFL Network, the induction ceremony, so I want to see LT and all those guys get inducted, Kurt Warner, the legendary quarterback for the Rams, the Cardinals, and the Iowa Barnstormers in the arena football league. He did, before he got inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, he was the he got inducted into the Arena Football Hall of Fame with the Iowa Barnstormers. Because before he started in the, NFL, in the NFL, he started in the Arena Football League, which is a 50 yards <coughs> with two end zones, 50 yards only. He started with that team, the Iowa Barnstormers. The Iowa Barnstormers are in the Indoor Football League now. But he got if you guys look up his video, look up Arena Football, Kurt Warner, it will come up. Iowa Barnstormers are his inducting, his inducting to the Hall of Fame. Which is pretty cool. So you got inducted to the Arena Football Hall of Fame. You got, now he's inducted to the NFL Hall of Fame. If we're in the Canadian Football League, he'll be inducted to the Canadian Football Hall of Fame. But no, that would be more um, 
the Flutie and his brother, oh, there's like Dave Flutie or, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know. I'm going to excited for football back because I am. It's hot as hell out here. But I am. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so excited. But anyways, and after that, I think they start next week, next Monday or Tuesday, the uh, preseason NFL starts. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably talk about some of those, maybe. Maybe might throw in throw in some NFL stuff. I know I didn't. I I was gonna do my Vikings though. Every time when the Vikings play, I'm gonna talk about it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You guys can leave my channel if you want. If you don't like sports, but that what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about my teams and our schedule. I think we play. I think we have the Rams. I don't know. We have the Rams first. I don't know who got our first preseason game. I know. I think we play the Rams. In, I know in preseason, I think we're at home, so. But anyways, we'll talk about that soon. We'll talk about, I think I did a video on that schedule already. If not, then I'll do one again. So, if I did, I'll probably look up, li link it in here for you guys. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. NFL football is back tonight, 5 p.m. I think my time. Should be 8 o'clock, your guys' time. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Have a good one.